okay, this is quite a simple position. We are a queen up. Usually queen versus a pawn is an easy win. And uh, all we have to do is eliminate this last pawn and then checkmate with the queen. But sometimes when, when this pawn is uh, advanced to the second rank right here, black might have some, some ideas, like in this particular position, if it would like to move, he miraculously save the game. Let's try to, to see what happens if we make a wrong move and try to come closer with the king. Black will create the, this threat to push the pawn and equalize the count. And white simply cannot allow this. He has to give some check. And after this, black renews his threat. It's, it's only important not to put the, the king in front of his own pawn. Black will try generally to stay on these two squares, and the only way for the only way for for white to stop this is to check from the B file. But uh, once it, this happens, black can usually just simply hide in the corner, and then white has to move the queen again because of the stalemate trick. So let's see how it works. We give some checks, check, check. Nothing happens. We give this check to try to drive that king away from these two squares. He might go here, but this move isn't sufficient. Now, we would like to approach with the king a few more times, but we simply cannot. We have to play with the queen. Black moves the king again. We play with the queen. And black moves the king again. And we have to check and because of the stalemate he moves the king again and there's nothing we can do we have to keep checking forever and the game is a draw now there are some exceptions where when our king is closer let's say if we would be able to jump somehow with our king to b3 after black promotes we can check move from here or from here even in some cases we actually don't need that much time if our king would just be able to jump two squares instead of one and then black promotes we come here with our king and we get a very interesting position queen versus queen but black doesn't have any checks and there is no way to stop all these mating threats so i would win once again but that's not possible so basically uh, when we have this position if we want to win our king has to be close enough to these squares so it has to be in this zone i will call it the yellow zone so if our king is somewhere in, in this zone but this square is not included the blue square is not good enough so we have to be within this five times five square and we have to uh, just uh, not include the blue square then we can win the game but now right now our king is outside of this zone we cannot miraculously jump here and then come here after the promotion so the position is a draw so coming closer with the king is actually almost good enough we just uh, need one extra tempo to win if we will be able to come here then we will win the game but we cannot so any king moves a draw and uh, what happens uh, yeah if, if we give some random check like this or like that that will come here or here and nothing will change the result is the same now what is our main idea against one pawn the first thing that we should check for the first thing that we want to do is to put the piece in right in front of this pawn and uh, if we can to put the king here it's not so easy when the king is far usually we can never do it if our king is anywhere close to this square we always win but uh, Sometimes we can try to put our queen here and there is actually only one single move on this whole chessboard after which black cannot stop the queen a1 move which means so basically we should check all the queen moves like for example this move but black can come here then we cannot uh, continue with our plan so we check all the moves in this diagonal and we check all the moves in this file and finally, we also check all the moves on this file. And we understand that this corner move is slightly different. And after queen h8, nothing can stop us from putting up queen a1. And then we have all the time in this world 
to win the game. There's nothing Black can do. We just put the queen here and slowly, 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 any way we like, we come close with our king and then take the pawn. So, queen h8 is winning the game quite easily. And this is the only one I know. I will also mention, mention, mention one more thing. And this is, in this case, against a pawn. We are in a hurry. We really have to do this. Otherwise, as you saw, Black can use stalemate tricks to save the game. Uh, in case of H pawn, of course, this is same because of the symmetry. But interestingly enough, C and F pawn uh, give good drawing chances to opponent as well. If our king is far enough, Black again has some stalemate tricks with which are connected again one more time to putting his king into the corner and then in some moment when we take this pawn it might be a stalemate okay we'll maybe say some more things about this the next time uh, on the contrary if black black's uh, last pawn is on b d e or g files then it's almost always uh, uh, quite an easy win o only chance for black is if our queen is really misplaced and our king is blocking it but normally it's an easy win, we just give a few checks, approach, and black can never use this stalemate tricks, so after a few checks our king will come closer to black's pawn and finally uh, white wins without too many problems.